The Jets opened up the first day of free agency by welcoming back Paul Statsny and Sean Reynolds. The question is, will Paul Statsny of 2020 and 2021 make the Jets better? Yeah, I think he immediately does. Look, with Brian Little gone, there's that massive hole at second line center. And even with him there, that second line center issue has plagued the Jets for years. And one of the closest times they came to solving it was when Paul Stastny was with the Winnipeg Jets. So you bring a known commodity in who's going to make you better in a lot of areas. One, he's great defensively, which is going to free up a lot of space for his line mates. And the Jets' top six wingers, you could put them with almost any top six wingers in the NHL. There's tons of talent there. So the more ability they have to fly up the ice, use their speed and get into the offensive zone, that's just going to make them that much more dangerous of a team. Uh, on the power play, I think is a big issue too. The Jets are a very opportunistic team. They aren't the best defensively, but what they can do very well is if you give them a chance, they can score. And traditionally over the last couple of years, that's included the power play, which is tailed off a little bit. So, Bringing him back, the, the, their power play really clicked when he was in town. If you can recapture that magic, it makes the Jets a much more dangerous team. But the big question is, yes, he makes them better, but does he make them good enough? I think a lot of people are thinking, you bring back Paul Stastny, and it's just like it was a couple of years ago when they went to the conference finals. I would caution against that kind of thinking because we're looking at a Winnipeg Jets team he's returning to that was a bubble team last year. They, they were on the outside looking in when the season came to a pause just below that playoff line. They didn't win their play-in. So this isn't a team that was barnstorming by any means that is just missing that one little piece. They were very weak defensively. And let's be honest, they were on the bubble because Connor Hellebuck kept them there with a Vesna caliber performance. So does he make things better in Winnipeg? Yes, but he's not a one size all one size fits all solution. This was a team last time he was there, which was considered one of the favorites to win a Stanley cup. This doesn't bring them anywhere near that strata by bringing him back. Sean, when the Winnipeg Jets picked up Paul Statsny on the first day of free agency, you said that there was some risk to, to the deal. How so? Well, I think what you're trying to replicate when you bring Paul Stastny back to the Winnipeg Jets is what he did the last time he was here. And that's promising. And you've got that built-in chemistry. So it's worth you know, betting on. But at the same time, it's a small sample size. So what you're trying to replicate is a small sample size that you really don't know what would have carried on had he been around for the whole season. So that's tricky in itself. The, the other risk is you don't know if it's the same player that you're getting back than it was a couple of years ago. Father Time wins every race that he engages in. And Paul Stastny, I know it's only a couple of years later, but he's going to be 35 when this season starts. And you never know with a player when that age is really going to start to show. And you never know with Paul Stastny if we've already seen that. Last season was a tough year for him, probably his worst statistically as an NHL or so the question becomes was that father time catching up with him or was it just an off season the Jets look confident in betting that it was just an off season but as you march on in age as you get to those mid 30s you start to see there's a lot of really really good hockey players over the last couple of years especially as the game has got faster that really tail off around those mid 30s I think that becomes a very big risk for the Winnipeg Jets. And, and the final risk I think that is interesting here is the Jets have worked so hard to solve that second line center position. If they do bring Paul Stassi in, and maybe this is a good problem to have, but if you do bring him in and he solves all your problems, well, you've only got him under contract for another year. What happens if at the end of the year he walks away and goes somewhere else? It could potentially rekindle all the frustrations that people are feeling and have felt around the hole there's been at the second line center position. So it makes it a little bit tricky. If he does succeed, that's great. But if he succeeds and leaves, then there's going to potentially be a lot of ruffled feathers that come with that. It wouldn't be an NHL offseason without some rumors. And the Patrick line, a, will he or won't he be a Jet by the time puck drops on the 2021 season, is the question... Does Paul Statsny's arrival in Winnipeg impact that? Yeah, I think it definitely does. And I think it's one of the main reasons that that move is made. Look, 
Paul Stastny and Patrick Laine played on the line together. They played really well. One of Patrick Laine's biggest beefs has been, yes, that he's not on that top line with the Jets, but it, it's also to a degree the fact that they haven't really found a centerman that he can click with. So it may be quite to a degree the fact he wants to play top line minutes, but he's played quite a few minutes. He just doesn't feel like he's playing with them with the people that make him click. So if you get Paul Stastny, it's definitely an olive branch uh, that allows you to, to say to him, look, if you're going to be here, you're, we're trying to create the best possible scenario that we can for you. Uh, I think the other part about it, if you're the Jets, because I don't necessarily think that this will change Patrick Laine's mind. If he wants to leave town, I don't think this changes that. But what it does do for the Jets is if you bring in a guy like Paul Stastny, who he's had success with in the past and they can rekindle that success then it just makes Patrick Laine that much more valuable on the trade market it's hard to trade a star who says he wants to be traded and get full value back for that player but if you can bring in Paul Stastny it allows the Jets to at least buy some time potentially keep Laine in the fold this year and if he has a phenomenal year and puts up really good numbers it just means that much more back on the trade market when it is time to go ahead and move that massive asset.